College students are allowed to change schools as often as they need to. All they have to do is pack up their rooms and make sure their parents shift their tuition payments to the new address. It's not as easy for college student athletes to do the same thing. Transfer rules and the transfer portal have made the process simpler, but as one local player is discovering, there are limits and the NCAA does not mind enforcing them. New VCU basketball coach Ryan Odom is still getting used to his surroundings, and so are many of his players. With only five left over from last year's roster, Odom recruited a couple of faces familiar to area fans. One of those is former Monacan standout Joe Bamasiel. You know, he's a guy that can put the ball in the basket. And so when we were beginning to put the roster together, um, you know, we felt that was something that we definitely needed. But Monacan's Joe Bamasiel already knows how to make the most out of his time. There we go. Bamasiel has. We profiled Bamasiel back during his days at Monacan. He averaged almost 29 points a game in his one season with the Chiefs as a junior before missing his senior year due to injury. The one season per team average has followed him. Bamisil spent one year at Virginia Tech, then a year at George Washington, then a transfer to Oklahoma, and now he's back home at VCU where he currently goes through practices every day. He's got a big smile, uh, he loves life, he loves his teammates. The NCAA rules on transferring from one program to another allow a student athlete to do it once without having to sit out a season. Any subsequent transfers require a waiver from the NCAA to play immediately. Bamisil got that waiver when he transferred from GW to the Sooners a year ago, citing on social media his issues with anxiety and mental health challenges. Now he's asking for another one. It was based on the doctor's advice uh, the medical professional's advice that it would be better for, for his family, to, for them to have help. Uh, so Joe moved, decided, made the decision to move back to Richmond uh, to help his family. Bamisil's father, who works in the mental health care industry himself, has had a series of serious medical issues, including open heart surgery. His son wanted to be close to home while finishing his collegiate career. There aren't many waivers that would be better suited uh, than Joe's waiver for this for this uh, reason. But the NCAA denied his most recent waiver request. Joe can practice and attend classes, but he cannot play in any games for the Rams unless that changes. Now, if we're in this for students, and the NCAA talks all the time about how important mental health is, and that's a deciding factor in everything that we do, you can't say that and then turn around and deny waivers based on they don't know if they agree with the mental health part of it. In fact, on the NCAA's own website, under the heading of transfer waivers, the first exception states a waiver would be considered for reasons related to the student athlete's physical or mental health and well-being. To Bama Seal and VCU, this should be an easy decision. Others, like ESPN analyst Jay Billis, agree and have said as much on social media. Uh, but, you know, if, if we're going to have a process, we should stick to the process and, and val evaluate things based on that process and based on the rules that we have in place. He deserves to have a really positive end, you know, to his career. Having transferred multiple times before and being already granted one waiver, there was no guarantee of a second one being granted. VCU has filed an appeal and Bama Seal will get to make his case directly to the NCAA. The NCAA has a waiver process in place for a reason. And it's for guys like Joe Bamisil, and we're hopeful that they, you know, will will see that. As folks can really understand it, and he can speak for himself on this, rather than it just be a written appeal that, that doesn't have any human behind it. I think when they see the human part of Joe, I, I, I hope um, more clear heads prevail, or clear heads prevail on that. We asked to speak with Joe on camera for this story, but VCU declined, preferring to have his appeal process play out before he makes any public comments. As we stated, VCU has filed his appeal, but the case has not yet been presented. That's where he will get to address the NCAA personally. Despite all of his movement, Joe is on track to graduate next May. He could sit out a year if his appeal is denied and come back and play for the Rams next year, but it will be his family's decision if that is in his best. 
best interest. The Rams open their season at home November 6th against McNeese State. If you would like to nominate someone for us to profile, email us at beyondtheroster at WTVR.com.